Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make an airfield table centerpiece for all of your Eid celebrations this year. And the starting point for that was this crescent from Anagram. This is in a satin luxe finish, obviously in the gold colour. Um, they come in a variety of sizes and variety of colours, so obviously you can um, change the colours as, as, as you wish. And all I've done is made a little uh, cluster underneath with a small water weight just to give it some more stability. And then what we're going to do is build away from that, downsizing our balloons as we go. So in the middle there, these balloons are inflated with four pumps. These are inflated with three, two and one, and that's how we get our, our, our downsizing as we go and work away from the center point. So I spoke about the sizing there. Um, how does that work? Well, we're just going to use our pump as our sizer, really. So the first thing we want to do is to create um, a duplet to live next to these ones. I'm going to go with blue and green. And what we're doing is we're taking the tip of the inflator right into the top of the balloon, into the rounded part. And that's so that we get the most stretch out of the latex as possible. So that means when we're inflating these small balloons, the color remains as consistent as we can get it all the way throughout. So we started there with four pumps, which means this is going to be three pumps, which is one, two, three. And then we go on to our green one, same thing again. One, two, three. And tie those into a duplet. There's uh, lots of different videos on our channel and on the decorator hub on the amscan.co.uk website where we've made duplets before. So we can tie those nice and tight and cut off the excess. That just gives us a bit of a neater look. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that a second just so it doesn't get in the way. And then we go down again. So that was three pumps. Now we're going down to two pumps. So we'll go with a, a green and a purple. Again, tip of the inflator right into the top of the balloon. One, two. One, two. Another duplicate with those. Cut off the excess. That'll go that way. And then the last but not least, we're going to go blue and purple. And these will then just be one pump. And again, we're going down in size, reducing in size. One. those off. Get rid of our excess. Just like that. Okay, next thing we want to do is start to fix things into place. So we're just going to use rubber cement. Um, rubber cement is available from lots of online stores. A uh, great way of um, fixing balloons together. Uh, almost instant contact, instant stick, uh, really quite a strong attachment. So we'll just get rid of most of this excess. We really don't need a lot on the brush. Way too much on here right now. And we can just take a little dab on the edge of our balloon. A little bit there, a little bit there. And then stick that into place. And then next one, again just a little dab, don't need a lot, fix that into place, same with this one, just like that, and work on this side. A little more now. Very little though. Little dab there. Little dab there. Same on this one. Fix 
that into place. And then our last pair here. Like that. Let's catch that bit there if we can. That's the main body of our, of our base, obviously building away. And then we're just gonna add some little five inch. These are just the five inch uh, all over print from, from Sempertex. These are a reflex gold in color with the all over print stars. Um, colors on the base here were metallic green, metallic blue, and metallic violet. And same thing again, these are just gonna live in the gaps down here. So we can just put a little amount of rubber cement Fix that into place. These were just a single pump. Fix that. Fix that one in there. And then on the end here, same again. One to finish off the bottom. is on the end there. We'll repeat that on the other side with a single pump. Just pinching that knot right down onto the top of the balloon and get rid of all this excess. And we'll repeat that for the other three. And then we'll just fix these into place too. A little bit more rubber cement on there. Our first one. Next one along. There we have it. There's a really simple air filled table centerpiece for this Eid. I mean, this is just the starting point. This is, this is a perfect table centerpiece to run down the middle of a long table. We can then expand off of that if we choose to. We could build it down and then build it back up and have some more crescents along the way. And the other option um, are these little LED lights. Uh, these are the multicolored ones. They also come in obviously a, a warm white or a cold white. But these um, work really nicely just to, to live around your table centerpiece, either in your table centerpiece, or we can simply lay them around our table centerpiece, like so. I hope that's shown you a really great option for this Eid. Enjoy your celebrations.